What's going on guys? So today I want to do a deck on one of the new cards and it is uh it's going to be Snow White. So we did a Snow White Evil Snow White deck built around debuff. So I'm so mad the other day I actually yesterday I actually did a crack a pack deck to sidetrack a little bit here and we uh busted open dwarf and a couple other cards. I think I got the Gomez Hamburger and Prairie Dog is what I used for my crack a pack. But when I uploaded it, the thing ended up being for some reason my screen recorder app made it like a hundred gigs and I could not upload the video. It just was too big uh, for my phone to handle. It basically took up my entire phone storage. So for those of you that have been waiting for a crack a pack deck, I apologize. Yesterday was the day and for some reason, I could not get it uploaded, but that was the deck I put together randomly off those three cards. Unfortunately, no luck. But anyway, today we're going to go do this Snow White deck since um, that was a big fail yesterday. I'm hoping I can just make these videos a little bit shorter. I'm hoping that helps, but for some reason, this recording app just occasionally will make a video insanely large, and I, there's nothing I can do about it. And it just, you never know when it's going to happen. Some some videos end up being less than a gig, and then randomly one will be 100 gigs, and I I don't understand why. It just makes no sense to me. But anyway, here's the deck I put together. It is going to be a debuff-type, evil-type deck where we're just pinging the opponent's power the entire game. So it has cards like Chupacabra. Basically, opponent's going to lose 10 power until played, and then another three random cards are going to lose 25. We got Tungs. Uh, Tunguska event, which says your opponent's cards lose seven until played wherever they are. So it's a pretty big hit right there. Feature card, Snow White, says when played, if your deck has two or more curious cuisine cards and two or more venomous creature cards, your opponent's cards lose 28 in hand, lose 28 until played. So um, because of that, we have included these two venomous cards. We've got Yellow Jacket, which is going to keep pinging our opponent. Five power, and then we've got uh, another Aatrox card here that's going to uh, take three of our opponent's random cards, and they're going to lose 30 power for three turns. So more debuff effects to go with Snow White. And our two Curious Cuisine cards we've added for this are Hamburger, which is going to buff our cards 35, but it pings itself 20. And then Mock Turtle Soup, which is kind of a counter card for World Turtle decks. So if any of our opponent's deck contains exactly four cards of basically any album, we're going to get plus 12 on those cards that match the album. Uh, other cards we've included to kind of do the same debuff strategy, we have the Pika, which is minus 7 permanently, and this card gains 35. Uh, we've also included Cyborg as a another buffing card in this deck, so we've opted for the six science six life on land cards so we can get that buff so you can see here we've got mycoplasma as one of the cards also a debuff 50 on our opponent uh the gun here minus 100 on the card opposite antimatter minus 150 but it does ping itself 150 so that's why we want these buffers try to get it built back uh number 42 gonna be a little buffer for our cards uh, I think that's all of these science cards there. What do we got? Two, three, four, five. I feel like I'm missing. Oh, maybe I didn't even have six in here. I think I opted not for not to do six. So instead we have uh, General Sherman and Douglas Fur combo. It's a nice debuff, debuffer from Sherman. And then obviously Doug, Douglas Fur is going to give every give those trees plus 50 until played. So those trees end up being quite large. Uh, we've included Arthoplethora as another debuff card for our, our opponent, and it's going to debuff uh, minus 30 for cards over 45 power in our opponent's hand. And last two couple cards here, we have the Sally Lightfoot with a Vampire Crab combo, and the Vampire Crab wants... If your deck has uh, two or more crustaceans, uh, two of your opponent's cards, wherever they are, lose 50 until played. So another debuffer of 50 on two random cards. Uh, and this is Lightfoot is added just for the Vampire Crab combo. 
So this is going to be a nice buff if you're winning the round. Uh, your cards, wherever they are, gain plus 15 for two turns. And then if you lost the turn, all remaining cards in both players' hands lose 15 until played. So another potential debuff card there. Um, and that's the deck. So let's go try her out and see what we can come up with here. Hopefully I can win some games. The deck looks like a fun one. It definitely looks like looks pretty evil, like it's going to really frustrate our opponents who play against it. But uh, as always, if you guys enjoy the content, uh, please hit that like button. Uh, subscribe in the bottom right corner. And if you have any ideas or decks you'd like me to do in the future, please just drop a comment and we will try our best to get to it when we can. I've got a list going, running just a running list as I do decks. I scratch them off and add to them when you guys drop comments. So that way I don't miss anything. If you haven't seen your deck yet, it's just because I probably didn't have a lot of cards for it yet. And I'm slowly gathering cards as, as I play. So uh, trying to build these decks as fast as I can. Because obviously there's a lot of decks to build. And we're trying our best to get them out there to you guys. You guys can check them out in action. All right, here we go. So opponent off strong with the Ponzi Heimdall combo. Nice buffer on the Ponzi for the turn. And Heimdall going to get that plus 30 on everything. We got Tungs, Tunguska, so hopefully we can get it down and going right now. And my son walks in the bedroom, of course. Go play, buddy. Uh, let's see. Hopefully we don't get interrupted too badly. My wife's gone, so I don't want to film in the garage like I usually do for quiet because this little one is a terror. He's been just destroying my house every time he's... Uh, unattended for like 30 seconds my house is just a train wreck so hopefully he won't do that <laughs> while i'm in here but looks like our opponent doing a little debuffing on us now with yellow jacket so we're a little behind here there's our general sherman we're gonna want to play that next turn so we probably want to get Hamburger down and get a nice buff going. He could potentially have a World Turtle deck as well. So that Mock Turtle isn't looking terrible here. Let's do it. We might get a buff off of it. Sure did. Right, opponent's going to win this round. That's all right. All right, we're going to kick it off with Sherman on this first turn of the round here. We want to play it in that third slot so that we can draw it back again on the first turn of round four, as long as we continue to play three cards, right? So that's the slot right there. We need it so we can get it back again on the right time. So let's see here. What else do we want to play? Could do our cards that hit hard, like our uh, hit our opponent's power. Let's do it like this. Ding Planet X there. That's nice. I like to see that. There we go. Some nice debuff on our opponent. Nothing like playing Planet X and only getting, uh, what, 50 power for the turn? Nope. Maybe a little more. 78 power? <laughs> All right. There's our Snow White, our feature card. Paybacks, a you know what. Since he's debuffing our hand, we're going to go ahead and keep debuffing his. Ooh. Got that Flying Dutch this turn, though. That's unfortunate for us. It's going to hit us quite hard. So probably, yep, we're behind now. All right, that's going to be a chance to play Sally Lightfoot. Or no, that's we want to be winning the round, don't we? 
<clears throat> yeah, if you're winning the round, and if you lost the turn, yeah, so we want to be winning for that one. Unfortunately, we drew our cyborg and not a third or a second uh, life on land card. Do it like that. It's probably not going to be enough, though. Opponent playing this big, meaty space deck, unfortunately. I feel like that's all I'm seeing this week with this high energy space supermassive terminators and Planet X fractors and God knows what. <laughs> it's just not the week for me. I hate these freaking massive energy weeks. I feel like that's all you run into is the same deck over and over. <laughs> an awkward hand don't really want to play cyborg here i guess we have to play sally even though we're not winning right we need atrox to trigger cyborg so i guess we're doing it like that hate to do it hypernova coming in clutch for him there and we need to get a win this this turn huh <clears throat> we are not doing so hot this game it always does feel like these debuff decks just don't have enough big power and they're not debuffing enough. Like, I, I just... I don't know. Played with this deck earlier and I was I felt like I was having very similar trouble. Like, I was debuffing a ton, but somehow they are still putting down massive power. So probably not going to win this game. Opponent also, it's a lot of debuff going on. Yeah, I think that turn right there just did us in. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to win this game here. Yep, that's going to do it, guys. So we'll we'll try one more, see if I can get a win out of, with this deck. But so far, haven't been too impressed with it. We'll shoot him a good game. He kicked our butt with his big fat space cards. see what else we can get if we can get something different to play against i feel like that's the only deck i keep seeing need variety please developers nerf op space cards <laughs> i hate it planet x over and over But anyway, enough about that. One of these days I'll get out of King Cobra level. All right, we drew our General Sherman turn one. That's nice. Oh, great. More space cards. It's a green witch, so that's not the end of the world. I only played two cards, though. That's interesting. Again, only two cards. Hmm. Wonder why he's doing that. Or she, Miss Cake. Bot, maybe? Oh. 
Give him a little hello. All right, we drew our cyborg, but again, we don't have our life on land we need. I'm actually going to hit this space card. There we go. Is it going to be enough? I think we got it. Barely. Barely, but we got there. More black hole decks. <clears throat> so he's got Planet X, I'm sure. Dark Web. Heimdall, so he's getting a nice buff there. <laughs> Plus 30. Let's go get the cyborg down, get the buff. that Planet X we've been waiting to see. We knew it was coming. All right, let's see what he plays this time. Let's do it like this, see if we can pull this round out. Good hit on the antimatter. Oh, we had that Christmas Carol too, though. Woo, big turn from him. Basically played all his fat cards at once. Good week for Christmas Carol with this energy we get. Ugh, I already missed the low energy weeks. See what that black dog. When, when did that black dog hit earlier? I missed it. All right, we got our mycoplasma. So we'll, we'll drop it in front of that space card again. Another good turn from our opponent. A lot of buffers. Check car and Rapunzel. It's a big turn. 31 energy he spent there. Whew. All right, so that is probably Flying Dutch. Nope. All right, we won the round there. It's so on to round four. <clears throat> it's going to be hitting pretty hard, though, as these space cards start coming back. All right, 
hit something in his deck with that vampire crab. <clears throat> Didn't look like anything in his hand or that he played got hit, so that's probably good for us, actually. Alright. Start digging his power here. Let's get our cyborg down. Need more buff. There's Planet X. Oh, we played Flying Dutch too. It's gonna be a good turn for him. Oh, two of them didn't even get buffed. They are that debuffed right now. So that's good for us. We didn't do too bad there. All right, we need to get some power down this turn, though. Let's see here. Up by 79. He's got all his big, meaty space cards down right now. So let's hit one. Hit here. And then I'm going to get a Douglas Fir down, I think. See if it's going to be enough power. I'm actually going to flip-flop. I'm going to do like this. There we go. Oh, yeah, that was his big turn right there. That's what I figured. I knew it was coming. That Godzilla again. <clears throat> There's too much power. We can't debuff it that much. All right, it's going to be down to this last round. So we're probably going to see that jet car. We're going to see that uh, Rapunzel. So he's going to be hitting us quite well. Minus 100 permanent power. He just hit there. We need our Sherman for sure. Only playing one card, huh? Sure. Just Testudo. Hmm. That's interesting. Just wants me to wants it. He wants a challenge here, so. He said, you know what? We'll just hold our cards. Let's get all these debuffs going, though. I'm going to get the Sally. And then I want to hit here. Yeah. There we go. Get our debuff on. Nice. Mitigated quite a bit of that. Right, we're up 291. He still has a pretty good chance. I know he's sitting on that jet car right there in his hand. Just drew another space card. So what's our best chance here? We need to play our damage. Chupacabra. Let's get Vampire. Maybe it hits one of these cards he's playing. And then Hamburger. It's not a lot. He could probably beat this. But we don't have a lot of options. So that's going to be what it is. Rapunzel Jet Car. I think we can beat that. Don't know why he's not playing more cards than that. But I'll take it. Probably a bot. Miss Cake just sounds like a bot. <laughs> but all right, guys, that's the deck. Uh, you can see it's it doesn't put out enough power, most likely, especially on this high energy week. For a lower energy week, I think it would be just destroying everybody. But as many of these big cards that are able to drop down, I just you just can't debuff enough of the power for it to matter because a lot of times these debuff cards aren't giving you enough power back. But Anyway, we did. We're able to win one. I'm not sure how, but uh, we got it done. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. And again, uh, appreciate you guys watching. If you uh, enjoy the content, again, smash that like button and uh, hit that subscribe button down there. And we'll keep bringing you guys content. All right, guys. Thanks.